Bone Ninja is an educational tool that helps surgeons learn how to analyze long bone deformities that may result from birth defects, developmental problems, traumatic injuries, or malunited fractures. To correct a deformity, one must first characterize the type of deformity and then appropriately plan a corrective strategy. Bone Ninja comes preloaded with case examples, normal and deformed bones, to use for practice. Each case example is accompanied by a recommended solution so that a student can receive feedback. We feel that this case-based approach will assist clinicians in learning bone deformity analysis and correction. After you purchase Bone Ninja, the app will download and will include several case examples. The remaining cases can be downloaded by pressing the Download Current Lessons and Resources button on the main menu toolbar. A Wi-Fi connection is required to complete this task. We will update our case examples periodically, so press this button regularly to download the most recent case examples and solutions. On the main menu page, the cases may be displayed in two different ways, either in a list or in a graphic format. You can upload your own case example into Bone Ninja. Select the Add Photo button to work on a radiograph or image that is already in your iPad's camera roll, photo stream, or Bone Ninja photo album. Alternatively, you can work on a preloaded case. To preview a case, select the Preview button. Close the preview by selecting the X. To open a preloaded case, select Start Case. Press the menu button to return to the main menu. When you return to the main menu, you see that the case now displays as active. First, you should calibrate your radiograph before working on a case. After you press the calibrate button, a circle tool will appear. By using the two solid blue circles on either side of the dashed circle, you can align the circle tool so that it overlaps the magnification marker on your x-ray. You can use the nudge tool to move the circle accurately. Then, enter the diameter of the magnification marker in the calibrate field at the top of the screen. Our preloaded cases contain 1 inch or 2.54 centimeter diameter magnification markers. Be sure to press the save button to record your calibration value. We recommend that all your x-rays contain magnification markers. Now, when you draw a line and then select it, the length appears at the top. Press the resource button to see additional resources, including the quick start guide, user's guide, standard measurements of the lower limb, and standard measurements of the foot. The left-hand side of the screen has the Deformity Correction Toolbar. This toolbar can be hidden or unhidden when you press the orange tab at the bottom. The right-hand side of the screen has a chart with standard measurements. Click on the orange tab at the bottom of the screen to reveal the measurement chart. You can record angle and length measurements in this chart. The values that you entered in the chart will remain even if you hide the chart. To hide the chart, press the orange tab again. The Draw Point tool allows you to draw points. Press and hold that button to select different colors. You can use the Line Tool button to draw lines. Press and hold the button to select the line color. The Select Move tools allow you to select an element and modify it by moving, angling, resizing it. If you press and hold the button, additional selection tools will appear. For example, choose the Dot Selection tool. When an object is selected, it temporarily becomes a light blue color. Select the Generic Selection tool. Any line or dot can be selected. There is a difference between selecting the whole line or just one end of the line. When you select just one end of the line, a blue circle will appear.
To unselect an object, tap on the far edge of the screen and then it will revert to its native color. When you use this tool to select a line, a menu bar will appear that shows you the line length. You can also lock that line so that it cannot be moved. If you lock a line and then wish to move it, use the Select Move tool to select the line and then press the Unlock button. The Ruler tool measures between two points. Let's use the Ruler tool to measure the MAD. Just a reminder, calibrate your image first. Now, if you like, you can enter the measurement in the standard measurement grid. If you go back to Selection tool, you can select and delete lines and dots. You can use the Undo tool, which will take you back a step, or the Redo tool, which will take you forward a step. Let's delete the MAD lines. To delete the ruler tool, you must select Reset Points. Let's look at the Angle Template tool. The Angle Template tool allows you to insert an adjustable angle template. Draw a mid-diaphyseal line of the distal tibia. The Annotations tool allows you to write text on the image. You can press and hold the button to choose the color of the text. These notes can later be selected with the Select tool and then moved, rotated, locked, or deleted. Use the Cutout tool to simulate osteotomies. After you select the tool, you can encircle an object with dots. When you close the circle of dots, that area inside the dots will be treated as an object that can be selected, moved, and rotated. It can also be grouped with lines. Select the Thumbtack tool and then tap on the Fragment Cutout to make the thumbtack appear. Group your objects by tapping on your fragment. When you press and drag on the rotational handles, the fragment will now rotate around the thumbtack. Select the Hardware drop-down menu to add generic hardware to your image. This tool is not for surgical planning purposes. With the Thumbtack tool, you can choose a rotational point of correction. Use the rotation handles outside of the selected item to rotate the entire group. Press the Solution button to compare your work to a preloaded case solution. This button will also allow you to compare a case that you loaded into Bone Ninja. In this situation, you will be able to compare the image with your work to the original version of that image and planning solution we have provided for the case. You can double tap or pinch to zoom into an image. Bear with me while I draw the distal tibial planning lines for demonstration purposes. Let's look at the Settings tools. When the Nudge tool is on, four small arrow buttons will appear in the bottom left of the screen that allows you to move the selected elements in small increments. This tool can be shown or hidden. With the Thickness tool, you can choose for your lines to be thin, medium, or thick. Turn on thick lines when you are giving a presentation using Bone Ninja and need the audience to be able to see your work. Press this button to show or hide auto angles. When auto angles is on, it will automatically insert angle measurements after you draw intersecting lines. When the auto angles tool is off, you can use the protractor tool to measure the angle between two intersecting lines. Let's look at the save tool. 
press this button to save your case by emailing it or by saving it as JPEG in the Bone Ninja photo album. When you press the send via email option, your email program will launch and the image will be included as an attachment along with any annotations made in the standard measurements grid. Press the reset button to clear all your work, arrows, cutouts, angles, and return to the clean, original x-ray. Press the menu button to return to the main menu. Save your work before returning to the main menu. If you return to the main menu without saving your work, you will lose all your work. Let's look at the Tick Mark tool. The Tick Mark tool allows you to draw a line that is divided in half or into thirds or fifths. Press and hold the button to select how the line will be divided. Select the one third line marker tool. Draw the distal femoral joint line. With the dot tool, identify the location one third the total length of the joint line from the femur's anterior cortex. Select the one fifth line marker tool. Draw the proximal tibial joint line. With the dot tool, identify the location one fifth the total length of the joint line from the tibia's anterior cortex. Select the one half line marker tool and draw the distal tibial joint line. With the dot tool, identify the center of the ankle. We have one more item we want to show you, and that is the info screen. Press the I button at the top right of the main menu to show the information screen. If you have any questions or experience any problems, please email us at icll at lifebridgehealth.org or leave a comment on our Facebook page at www.facebook.com slash limb length apps. Thanks for your time and enjoy Bone Ninja.